Hi everybody, my name is John Martinson and I'm the founder of RoboLinux. Today I'm going to show you just exactly how easy it is to start from basically just scratch and install a Windows 32 or a Windows 64-bit version of XP Pro. It could be XP Home and this could be any uh, Linux operating system. It could be, um, even though you see RoboLinux, um, that's the one that I wrote. Uh, it's a Debian-based uh, operating system. I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, you, it could be Linux Mint that you have. It could be any edition of Linux Mint. Um, it could be any version of Ubuntu. It could be Fedora. It could be OpenSUSE. Um, it could be Red Hat, CentOS. It, it, the list goes on. But it, don't worry. This is this demonstration is going to help you because it's really all about. Uh, just simply using VirtualBox, uh, which is not complicated. Uh, there are a couple of little quirks, but I'm going to show them to you. And what I would suggest you do is pause your video, your YouTube video, as you do your installation so that you can um, be very efficient and, of course, follow the instructions. And, um, and that's going to help you. So the first thing we're going to do is pretend like we just installed our Linux operating system and we're going to go we've downloaded um, the RoboLinux VM systems installer and the RoboLinux um, stealth VM systems installer so I'm going to go ahead and go through those two this could be any Linux operating system so I'm just going to go down here and install my VM systems installer type in my password I can't see my keys as I'm entering them. A lot of people get worried about that. Um, just simply press enter after you've typed your password. And as long as your files are sitting in your downloads folder, you'll get this, um, this successful installation. And you'll be routed to these nice instructions here on how to one click uh, install a Windows XP or 7 VM into your operating system. Okay, now I'll go ahead and uh, install the RoboLinux VM Stealth Systems, so I'll do that as well. Very easy to do. And it's already installed. And what I suggest you do is in your file manager, I'm going to show you in the downloads folder, I'm going to show you in the downloads folder that you have the two uh, files that you downloaded and you so kindly uh, donated to us to keep us going here so we can support you. Um, just leave those there or make a backup of them in case you want to put them on another machine or you know reinstall someday down the road. Um, so that's where they are. That's where they need to be before you do the installation. And so now I'm going to go ahead and install a version of XP. It's going to be a 64-bit version. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm simply going to go in like you would in any Linux operating system to the Robo Linux 32- um, and 64-bit uh, Windows installers. And I'm going to go ahead and pick Windows XP 64 and just sit back and let it do all the work. Here I've got my instruction screen. Those are nice to read. If you read them, it really it does help. Um, if you don't, then just watch this video. I'm going to hit uh, enter and I've got to type my password. Now I've got to select the amount of RAM that I want to assign for this 64 bit version of Windows XP. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and take uh, one gig and just hit enter. We're going to get redirected again to the instructions. They are very nice instructions. If you find something in here that's missing, send us an email um, and we'll be happy to add another FAQ for you. So let's check our virtual box to see if we have now a one-click uh, installed 64-bit version of Windows XP Pro. Indeed we do. Now this is where people get a little hung up because VirtualBox likes to um, make it just slightly complicated, but I'm here to help you. So if you go down here into storage, make sure that your host drive has its pass-through set. 
Okay, so down here to your host drive from storage, click the pass through. Now when you load your Windows disk, it's going to actually load into the virtual machine. So I'm actually going to do that right now. And I'm going to load my X, XP Pro 64-bit. Now give it a few minutes, or I mean a few seconds, I'm sorry, to load the DVD, okay, before you start this green arrow button here for your installation of Windows XP. And so you just give it a little bit of time to load and mine's loaded so now you get these little pesky um, notices here from uh, VirtualBox. You can get rid of those. Um, well now it's starting the virtual machine so I have to wait a little bit. It's actually waiting for the disk to load. Okay, now I can get rid of these pesky uh, notices. And as you can see, now I'm in the Windows setup. And so I'm going to recap on that. What people like to do is pop their, their disks in and then instantly press the green arrow button and then they get the uh, non-bootable um, medium found. And that's why that happens because you didn't wait for the disk to load. But this is really like installing on a regular PC. Um, the only difference is you're putting it into a virtual machine um, and that's it. So when I get to the point of where I'm actually installing Windows, I'm going to pause the recording and then after it's finished installing, I'm going to restart the recording and show you around uh, the operating system. And how to set, for example, things like, uh, you know, the size of the Windows uh, XP screen, how to go into full screen mode and things like that. So at this point, I'm sure you know how to install a copy of Windows. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and finish my installation to save time. OK, I'm back. So now you've been through the process of uh, feeding the uh, Windows XP disk in and loading the operating system into your virtual machine and hopefully not going through uh, too many problems with uh, updating and don't worry about that because actually one of the beauties of uh, running inside the RoboLinux Stealth VM systems is that um, you don't really need any updates and if you don't have an SP3 and feel like you want to have an XP uh, SP3 Windows XP installation, we can refer you to a third party um, website that can provide you with a legitimate copy um, and a safe copy of uh, an image of Windows XP that you can install while you're, you know, literally just drinking coffee. You just click one button. Uh, so, anyway, um, now what I have is I have this screen that's not very big, and um, the most important thing is, is that now you want to go up here to devices and you want to insert guest edition CD image and you want to go through that process which is very easy it's like installing uh, any Windows uh, software program um, so um, you'd click here and it would load it for you just like that and you would go through the process of actually installing it and um, I've already done it so One thing that I want to mention that's important is down here on the bottom where you see the little tiny DVD or CD, right click that when you've first rebooted into Windows and make sure that you have checked the host drive. That's uh, your machine, uh, that's, I'm sorry, your machine's uh, DVD or, yes, it would be your DVD drive. So you want to do that because then if you don't do that, then when you feed disks, you're not going to be able to install programs into Windows and I'll double check it again and yes I'm on the host drive so I'm set and ready to install um, Microsoft Office or Quicken or whatever it is that you need um, so let's uh, let's go ahead and we've installed the guest editions as I showed you up here um, by inserting guest edition CD image which actually you're not inserting I don't know why Oracle um, has that misnomer actually what happens is it pulls that image from um, 
virtual box and then installs it for you and it's it, it, I guess they just call it a CD image anyway but you just click there and, it, and as I showed you it's easy to do um, now here if we go to view we now can adjust the window size we can go to a uh, full screen which is quite nice um, remember what the host key is so that you can go back to the smaller size if you want to and that is going to be your right control key as your host key and then F for full screen um, if I was if I was to do that right now right control key F I'd get a full screen and it'll give me a little warning there to tell me how to go back and, I'll, and it has a switch button and so now we are in uh, and so we're gonna go back now okay and now another thing to do is the easy way is just drag the size uh, to what you like like this and I like it like that because I like to be able to play with my 3d um, but position it the way you want it um, in my case I'll get rid of this so I can make it you know pretty big uh, like that and move my trash can and everything so I'm going to install Microsoft Office right now. Um, let me just go grab that disk. And this one here is another one that doesn't get any updates anymore. It's Office 2003, but not to worry. With the RoboLinux Stealth systems, you don't have to worry about viruses. Um, and mine has been working pretty well for years, and I don't have any reason to upgrade because it it gets the job done. Now I've fed the disk in and I'm really waiting for it to load. What you want to do is just go to the start menu and go to my computer and you'll see when it's loaded and in fact um, it should be loaded. I'm waiting. There it is. It's loaded. Now if I click it it will then give me the install screen. And see how I have to wait a little bit for the DVD to load it? there it is you see a little bit of patience and you won't get frustrated now Microsoft I guess saw my double click um, so now I can go in and install my Microsoft Office and I'm gonna pause the recording so I don't waste your time and I'll do that okay I'm back and now I have installed my Office 2003 um, from Microsoft and I'm going to check my start menu and go see that it's there. And there it is. And um, I don't take all of them. I just uh, take the ones that I like to use. Um, you, of course, can install whatever you want. Now, the reason I stopped here or started again was to show you that when you exit here from this Microsoft installation menu, um, typically what happens is uh, you're going to have to eject the disk. And so you can go to your start menu, go to my computer, and you have to actually, you see the office disk there, right click it, and you want to eject that disk now. Okay, now my disk just uh, ejected, and, um, and I'm going to go ahead and um, shut that down. I'm ready now to install more programs if I want to, and... Um, so it's really this just that easy. What I'm going to do next is to show you how to make a shortcut that's really nifty so that um, you can one click load Windows XP from your Linux desktop. So I'm going to do a shutdown of XP. And get my handy little bottom tray there or panel as some people like to call it. So you would want to load VirtualBox um, and I'm sure you'll know where that program is in your Linux operating system and you just simply go up to uh, your Windows XP there and you right click it and you click on the bottom where it says create shortcut on desktop and there it is now shut down VirtualBox and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and load your file manager in Linux and go into the VM icons folder which was installed by RoboLinux and um, you just simply right click that shortcut that's on your desktop go to properties click on that cube 
and now you must navigate down to the VM icons folder again and pick either your Windows, well in this case it's, it's XP, and I'm picking that icon and so now I've got a nifty shortcut over here and what I'm going to do with that shortcut is I'm going to move it to wherever I want on my desktop and in my case I'll put it over here so oh I do want to put that back into the uh, icons so that it is there in case I want to use it later oh it's already there so I'll just replace it okay so so there you have um, I'm gonna go ahead and load it let me just position it nicely well I've got two of them so let me get rid of one of them sorry about that let's see here I've got two of them because I've done too many installs and let's just move that one in here nicely okay great so the next time you load XP uh, it's going to be a one-click operation and there you have it you, you've got your Windows XP uh, once you get all your programs fully installed um, of course, I would suggest that you turn off your uh, restore, and that's pretty easy to do. Just click the start button, right click my computer, go to properties, and let's see how they do this. We have great FAQs for the system restore, and I've got mine turned off already. See that right there? Turn off system restore. That'll save you a lot of disk space in your virtual machine that Microsoft and all its infinite wisdom likes to triple and quintuple and even five times make the size of your virtual machine um, when it's doing its uh, restore stuff that you don't need anymore because you have the ability to do a backup and restore through Robo Linux's stealth VM software. See we have over here we can do a back up the Windows virtual machine and then if we ever have a problem or we have a slow registry we can do a restore your Windows virtual machine and again this could be in any Linux operating system um, because you're gonna have all those same menu options um, and so that's how that works I'm gonna go back to XP if I've missed something uh, please send us an email uh, click the contact button and uh, and uh, send an email and say you know you need to redo the video and tell me what I missed um, but I'm pretty sure that if you can get to this point you're really going to be in good shape um, thank you very much for watching this video and I uh, hope you have a great day and may God bless you